Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. In this video we have the DMC collab and I'm so sorry I didn't cover that from the start and I didn't do the team build ups and I didn't talk about the characters because I had some family issues to solve and I was away a little bit and if you look at my channel I didn't uh, post that much of content because I was busy with real uh, stuff and now I'm back and we'll be dishing a lot of uh, videos and talking about the changes and major changes that happened to the game and to the characters with this collab especially for Dante we'll be talking about Dante in this video because there's a major change that happened with him and he's really really good right now he became from a normal character that is used and utilized a little bit in pvp which is not very good in bossing in story he might help you a little bit with interruptions if you don't have that option if you built him up to max and you had three cars at him that was the point that we were using him at but now since they changed him they buffed him a lot and now he reduces even defense or damage reductions on the bosses which is absolutely crazy and he can be a substitute on lineups to give you a lot of damages now many people are not understanding how he plays or how we use him i'll be explaining everything about him i've seen a little bit of runs many people were asking me his c2 is not doing a lot of things you don't need to use his C2 specifically his main kit is with his super his super is everything about him we're gonna go and talk about Dante and how he became now a kind of meta unit that you can use on bossing he became a bossing unit as well because of the debuff that he applies not only with the defense but with the damage reductions we'll be talking about everything and I'll be explaining everything about him on paper normally if you get him to double s double s plus or normal without getting him to the six out of six cars he's not that impactful you need to max him out go to six out of six and then he will become insane and he will be in become incredible yes he will be a great unit and a meta solid unit that you can use on lineups that would help now he's replaceable he's not the best unit in the game and he's not one of the best units in the game but he has one of the best debuffs and as i spoke and i told you before the devs did something with Rich Honda that they didn't expect that it will succeed that much because of the negative uh, damage reduction that he applies and now they played around all negative reduction so if they play any new unit that they want to buff or they want to make it meta or make it good they go to damage reduction they apply damage reduction on all of these units and all of these units that have damage reductions became one of the best units in the game and the best supports and as we talked and as we're seeing high numbers with our, uh, the lineups we'll be talking about him right now and explaining everything about this kit so dante light unit agility absolutely great agility it means his base dodge is almost 100 percent at the start immediately by his items which is really great because he plays around dodge a lot now with his fix and on speed as well so we'll be talking about all of that and he's massive so he can go with any lineup and continue your synergy so you can get the buffs his super super spear storm which changes into spear blizzard we'll be talking about uh, that and why it's the most important uh skill on his uh kit all of it overall so launches the target in front in the air dealing damage equal to 50% of attack that then turn and shoot dealing damage equal to 138% of attack to targets in area the final two hits deal damage equal to 314% of attack if you calculate all of that together it's almost 500% of attack which is really good for a super that will apply also damage reduction when you get him to 6 out of 6 we we'll talk about that when we go to the cars it's an update that happened detailed us about about it before they released this collab so level 2 increase the fighter dodge by 20% for 12 seconds upon unleashing so he gains 20% more dodge when he unleashes his super at level 3 which we will max it all when you get to level 240 all of these will be unlocked while this uh, uh, the buff is active of the dodge the fighter speed increased by 10% by 10 every time they dodge so every time they take a hit and they dodge it so he can do a pseudo tank he can survive a lot and we checked it and we tested him he does survive a lot you can do that in the trials and you're gonna check that Last for seven seconds and stacks up to seven times trigger interval two seconds now when they say stacks up to seven times and it has a trigger interval for seven seconds it means whenever it applies again it refreshes the seven seconds and you can have it almost seven up time until the end of the battle if you have a rotation or if he's dodging all over again and again now let's talk about his passive his passive changed he had a little bit of changes which is really good this is a trigger skill that is triggered upon dodging so when he dodge 
turn around and shoot dealing damage that is equal to 350% of attack the targets in a small area which is AOE trigger interval 15 seconds every 15 seconds when he dodge he will do that he will additionally deal a little bit of damage now sometimes it might interrupt the combo chain or not give you the time while he's doing it you can't click his spells but if you time it correctly and play around it that will be absolutely fine I tried it, it's a little bit annoying until you uh, become familiar with it. So in True Devil form, when he's in True Devil form, when you click it with the uh, C1 or when he triggers it, because he triggers the Devil form even if you don't trigger it with the C1, the passive skill is changed to Machine Wings. So Machine Wings, this is a trigger skill that is triggered upon dodging, deal true damage equal to 450% of attack to targets in an area, which is a big area actually, he shoots them with the guns raining like hell on them. This skill can only be triggered one time per true devil transformation. So when he transforms, he can do it one time. When he transforms again, he can do it again. In addition, Dante dodge is increased by 40% upon entering the battle. So whenever you enter the battle, he increases his uh, dodge by 40%, 20% with his super, which is absolutely crazy. And with his uh, kit, with his equipment, he's an agility unit, so he gets a lot of dodge, which will make it absolutely like almost 160%, which is really good, actually. He survives good. So, trigger interval becomes 12 seconds. Upon triggering, fighter speed increased by 20, not uh, 10, and stacks as two stacks. So, it stays at 10, but he can do it to two stacks, which is really good. Lasts for seven seconds, stacks up to 20, uh, seven times. A trigger interval is eight seconds. Upon triggering, the fighter speed increases 30 by 30, so it goes by 30 and stacks uh, and uh, counts as three stacks. Immediately counts as three stacks, not two stacks anymore. Which is good. Increases skill damage by 400%. In attack increases machine wings damage by 515% attack. This is when you unlock his EX and get it to plus three and in, uh, equip it to him. And that's also good. Uh, but it's not necessary, but it adds a little bit of damage to him. Now his C1, which I don't recommend anybody to use it because it will uh, remove your combo or, or, or uh, mess your combo rotation because he stops the combo when you click the C1. But the good thing about it, after you use any skill of him, like you use his super, uh, when he's in devil form, you're gonna gain a thousand uh, combo meter. Again, it means a full combo meter, so you can go and do a rotation again. So you can use his super and his C2 again. Let's talk about it. So. Impel himself with the Devil Sword, as you know from uh, his story, losing 30% of current HP to enter the true Devil form. This skill cannot be chained with another fighter's combo 2, so it stops when you use the C1. Dante cannot unleash a combo 1 or combo 2 in true uh, a Devil form. He also deals 20% more damage, receives 20% less damage and gains 30 speed. His normal attack is changed to Judgment Cut and his super combo is changed to Perfect Judgment Cut, which are which deals a lot of damage actually it deals a lot of damage if you accumulate speed with him so judgment cut deals damage that is equal to 150 percent of attack and dante will gain an additional hit with his speed reaches 149 198 and 228 which is really good actually because the more he gets speed the more he does damage and this will allow you to pair him up with a unit such as summer ibuki which capitalizes on speed reduces the speed of the enemies and increases your lineup speed so you can utilize him as perfectly as possible so perfect judgment cut deals damage equal to, to, to speed over 100 times 350 percent of attack like out of the 100 whatever he has time is the 350 percent and it's capped at 750% of his attack, so he doesn't become broken because you can play him with Summer Obuki and you can get a damage almost to 2000 to 3000 damage uh, percent of attack, which is crazy. It means one shotting anything. When this skill is unleashed, True Devil uh, form is cancelled because you're gonna use it. So if he's in True Devil form, you use his super, he cancels uh, his Devil form, but he does the damages with it. Uh, true damage, uh, true devil form is cancelled and the super combo gauge will be refilled by 1000 as we said. Dante passive skill is replaced with machine wings in the de true devil uh, form and this deals true damage that is equal to 450% of attack upon dodging. When he dodges he deals a lot of damage and it's true damage. True damage is one of the most beautiful damages in the game. This can only be triggered one time per true devil transformation. While in true devil form deal 30% more damage and receive less 30% damage, gain 60 
speed while in true devil form. While in true devil form, deal 40% more damage. So it goes up to 40% damage and 40% damage reduction, which is good. But I don't advise you to press the C1. Uh, just let him dodge and he trigger it by himself. And when he triggers back to his normal form, even if you didn't click the C1 by his only triggering, he will give you 1000 combo meter, which is really good. Free combo meter is everything and we like it so much. Now his C2. Deal damage equal to 420% of attack, multiple targets in an area, it's an AoE, gain super armor while unleashing the skill. Super armor is not the best buff, but it's good versus interruption. So it means if you're playing somebody like uh, against somebody like using his the C1 of, uh, let's say, Nero. If Nero uses, uses his C1, he can interrupt you. He can't stun you, he can interrupt you. So interruption is different than stun. They might interrupt you with a skill that knocks you up in the sky like Nero, but if you have armor, uh, super armor, it won't affect you because you can't be interrupted by knocking, only by stuns. Stuns bypasses this, but uh, something like interruption doesn't. Like guy, normal guy, if you use his super or anything, he will interrupt you because he takes you uh, around like left and right and interrupt you, knock you back. But with the super armor, it doesn't work. So each hit has 25% chance of increasing this fighter speed by 10 less for 7 uh, seconds and stack up to 7 times again, goes up to 70. When this fighter speed is uh, reaches 181, this skill is guaranteed to crit and cannot be dodged or parried. So nothing can parry this or dodge it, except shields can mitigate the damage. Increase the damage of Whirling Slash and Devil Slash by 10%, which is really good. Now let's talk about his fighting spirit really quick. It's the same things, but they buffed a little bit of the bonus numbers. So 30%, 37% on HP, which is huge. Also, the attack is huge. Defense is great and dodge, more dodge, 7.5%. So you get to a uh, great numbers of dodging countered by pressure only or uh, a hit, a must hit uh, like his uh, C2 when it goes to must hit, it can't be dodged, which is really good. So his whirling slash, it changes to devil slash, launches targets in area into the air, then w into the air. When G he launches them into the air, it might interrupt them, but if they have super armor, it won't. So keep that in mind. Then use the devil sword uh, to deal damage equal to 320% of attack. Also throw force out, then recall it, dealing damage equal to 128% of attack to all enemies in a path. While unleashing this skill, the fighter gains super armor. Each successful hit has a 30% chance of increasing this fighter speed by 10, which lasts for 7 seconds and stacks up to 7 times. When the fighter speed reaches 172%, this skill is guaranteed to crit and cannot be blocked or dodged, which is really, really good. Again, hitting an enemy 100%, which is really good. His assist, not the one of the best assists. It's, it's okay, but it's one not. Uh, basically, when a unit that is assisted gets uh, killed, the unit that killed them will get stunned for 5 seconds if you have the assist on the killed unit, if you have Dante on the killed unit. And that's it. It's not the best thing, but it might stop it. You might use him there, but never use him in, in, in that area. It's just stupid. So, at plus 10, when Machine Wings is triggered, the damage of the next perfect judgment cut is increased by 20%. More damages, which is good. When in true devil form, which he will do because he dodge a lot, all normal attacks increase the damage of the next perfect judgment cut by 3%, stacks up to 10 times. That's a 30% more damage output when he's in the devil form, which is good. Now, plus 30, and this is the, no the change also that happened to him. Each devil slash hit increases the damage of the next perfect judgment cut by 4%, stacks up to 15%, which is really good, actually, if you stack it up to 15%. That's really good, or, or 15 times. So in addition, after triggering Ebony and Ivory, the True Devil form level 3 will be unleashed one time. This is considered a trigger skill, which is really good. It means he goes to Devil, uh, devil form without even you triggering it with a C1. Never use a C1. Use his super. His super is everything. You might use a C2, also good, but his super, uh, his super is everything. We talk about that right now. So, what was Dante before? Dante before was an interrupter that we use him with uh, three cars at least, so he can freeze units with his super combo, and that's it. Now, additionally, that he's freezing, he will also reduce, if you get him to six out of six cars, he will reduce, he will reduce the enemy or the boss damage reduction, which will allow you to deal more damage with different units plus him. So that will be a major improvement for him and we're seeing him in a lot of lineups for people who built him and he's dealing absolutely phenomenal. So his passive Spear Storm changes to Spear Blizzard. Spear Storm again, Spear Storm is the super, changes into Spear Blizzard. So pay attention. 
His super is everything. You need to focus on using his super. If you didn't use anything else except his super, that's what you want. This is what you need to achieve. So if you're using him only with his C2 or doing some testing using his C1 or something like that, you're doing it him, you're doing it wrong. They buffed his super. His super is everything in his kit. Keep that in mind. So launches targets in an area and unleashes snow slash dealing damage equal to 450% of attack. The final strike deals damage equal to 150% of attack. Snow Slash and Impact Wave has a 50% base chance to inflict freeze for 3 seconds, which is really good in PvP. So, and they increase the fighter's dodge by 30% for 12 seconds, which is really good as well. While this buff is active, the fighter speed increases by 10 every time they dodge, lasting for 7 seconds and stacks up to 20 times with a trigger interval of 1 second. Perfect. Now here comes the big boom, the big change with him. The 6 out of 6, Spear Blizzard, which is the super smash, reduces the defense and the damage reduction of the target hit by 35% for 6 seconds. Perfect Judgment Cut increases the damage rate by 20% and ignore 30%, 35% of the target's defense. Now, increases the damage rate by 20% for him, that's great, and ignores 30%, 35% of the target's defense, that's great. Now, the, pro the difference between between defense reduction and damage reduction if you reduce the enemy defense to zero that's perfect they will take the full attack if you reduce it to minus 1 million it will not add damage from your side because it's only affecting the defense it means if you hit him with the 100 damage they will take 100 damage but here comes the damage reduction if they have one damage reduction it will remove one damage from you so when you un damage reduction works that way if the boss have a damage reduction and you remove it all and hit him and he has zero and you hit him with 100 damage they will take 100 damage if you reduce it by minus five percent and hit him with 100 percent damage they will take 105 percent damage which is or 105 points of damage the extra minus will allow you to get extra damage according to your attack which this is why uh, uh, rich honda is the main damage buffer for this aspect not only because he does the life link which is op he does another thing which is OP, which is damage reduction that goes up to 60% and get the bosses on the negative. This is why you see billions of damage numbers with the units that you pick with him, which is absolutely incredible. And this is why Dante now became a little bit better. Not a little bit, a, a little more better. He became a lot better actually. And now he, you can use him on lineups and he's reliable. So if we go and uh, check his uh, 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 shenanigan, where is it? So here we go, that's Nero, that's Dante. I, I did it, I, I was trying to test him and absolutely great. I was having fun playing him for the first time since ever. So here, who do we have? We have, we need the C3 that kills Kami. C3 is absolutely fantastic. We need some speed, Kami has speed. We can use you as for shields and maybe use somebody in the back line for C2 and C1. And uh, let's go and check, does he freeze? And yes, he does freeze. So let's go and check it out. So we wait, we wait a little bit and hopefully he can dodge so I can show you the true devil farm. Well, he didn't dodge yet. So we're going to start and you see the freeze. He freezes. It's absolutely crazy. And Kami will kill Zangief, which is good. Hopefully she won't die. Go back, Kami. And she's dead. Of course she's dead. Why? She's not. And here we go. One and we can do it. And he got stunned, but he transformed. And look at the damages when he gets stunned. Bam. His auto attacks are through damage as well, as you see he deals a lot of damage when he does that and we can start with him and he cancel his transformation and we can go back and use his skills again and we can use his damages. Really good unit, really solid unit and you can check his damages are the most important for through the fight and he does the most damage but of course if we kept Kami and used C3 on every single unit she would kill them all with her C3 because she's good actually in that uh, single target area. Really nice unit, really good unit. I'm happy with the changes. If you want to build him, he's not a wrong unit to go, but you need to max him out. His plus 30 is good. Uh, he, he, if you get him to triple S plus, uh, he, uh, double S plus, he will be good. But the most impactful thing that you will have for bossing, for story, for uh, PvP, that will help you around with this game if you get him to triple S and unlock his 6 out of 6. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.